Happy Land Fragrances Shameless. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Happy Land Fragrances Shameless. Now, right out the box, this smelled like a Creed Aventus clone. And looking up the notes here, I guess it does have, it's mostly a Creed Aventus style clone. But I was looking on his website and he says this is, you know, something super fresh with a touch of blue. So I guess he is trying to put a little bit of, you know, a blue tint on this. It does smell a little bit different than Aventus. I will give it that. I could kind of smell a little bit of something blue, but overall to me, this seemed like a full Aventus style clone. It is a little bit more oily and a little bit ritzy. There's like a ritzy quality that I smell in here that I don't smell in the original Aventus, but it's not necessarily bad or anything. Let's go into the notes of Shameless. The notes are citrus, black currant, apple, jasmine, lavender, rose, patchouli flower, musk, ambergris, oak moss, and vanilla. So anyways, guys, a lot of notes that are similar to Aventus in there. To me, like I said, it just smells like a more full or really full, good projecting, oily Aventus with a little bit of a ritzy quality. That's kind of the best way that I would describe it. Right, let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it has very, very high quality. Pretty much everything from Happy Land is just, you know, top notch and super high quality. Nothing's changed here. The projection is pretty good, for especially for this fresh style fragrance. Aventus that's come out now is actually kind of light. One of my friends sprayed up on Aventus, drove to my house, and I live like an hour away. I couldn't even smell it on him. It smells really well balanced. And then it has that likable Aventus style vibe. Can't go wrong with it. I really enjoy it. And it the vibe is there. The good things that come along with Aventus are probably gonna come along here. So that is a definite plus. And then it has no off-putting Club de Nuit Intense Man style vibe. So although it is really strong and really oily and a little, little in your face, it's not off-putting like Club de Nuit, which is something I almost couldn't wear because the dry down would almost smell like wet bread or something weird. None of that in here, very, very good. A little bit of its own scent, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, the mix aspects, I only have one, and that is that it's oily. I really do like high oil fragrances. If you look up pretty much the more oils that are in a fragrance, the more higher quality it is. But it's also a little different because the original Ventus I didn't find to be this oily. I found it to be a little bit more straightforward. So I'm kind of on the fence with it because I, I really like, I almost think for Ventus and for it being a little transparent, I almost think the less oily would, would be a little bit better but maybe I'm wrong. Like I said, I'm kind of on the fence with that. Most people would probably think that's 100% a plus and normally I do too. All right, guys, let's jump into the cons of this fragrance. The cons is that it's not really a direct clone of Aventus. It does its own thing, which I guess people would want, but it's like really, really, really close. But then it has, in my opinion, like a Happy Land fragrances style touch on it which I actually really do appreciate because I don't really know what it is, but some aspects to this fragrance has just a Happy Land Fragrances vibe. So I like that they were able to recreate that here and give it its own kind of smell. This is also not as transparent. I actually do like a little bit of that transparent vibe. And I think this smells really, really good, but I think that Aventus can almost start smelling like a lemon cleaner once it becomes really, really strong. And I almost wonder if that's why they make the newer batches a little bit more balanced. More so in other fragrances than this, but when you max out the fresh notes of Aventus, it can smell a little bit like a lemon cleaner and be a little off-putting. I don't really smell that really too much with this one. It's just very in your face. And I really don't have anything bad to say about it, to be honest with you guys. It's just not a direct clone and I wish it was a little more transparent, but. It's not a bad thing at all. Uh, smell rating, I give this an eight out of 10. Likeability, I give this an eight out of 10. The longevity, I give this an eight to an 8.5 out of 10. The situations this is good for, the office, I would say this is good. Date, I would say this is okay in the heat. The gym, I would say this is okay with one spray. And this is just more of like a summer powerhouse style fragrance. If you're a really big fan of Happy Land and you like Aventus, it's definitely one to check out without a doubt. My favorite three Happy Land fragrances still are 
Cravat Noir, which is his tuxedo clone. Paisley Sky, which is my actual, my absolute favorite. I just love Paisley Sky. It's kind of like got this sexy psychedelic vibe. Most of the time when I think of psychedelic, I think like of rough, kind of aggressive, but Paisley Sky, it pulls off this really sexy, really psychedelic smell. And then also Rhyolite, just a fantastic, sweet, wintry fragrances. Those, I gotta say, are still my favorites, but this one would come up very, very close because I really do like Aventus and I do like this fragrance. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.